Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Sayyid Usama Aziz. In today's video, I am going to perform a very simple experiment. I will use a 3D printed air blower as a CPAP machine, which is a breathing aid. Will it work? Let's find out. Let's have a look at the 3D design in the CAD software. There are three parts. I have also made an animation using SolidWorks Exploded View feature to help you understand how these different parts are fitted together. Air blowers or centrifugal fans are of different types depending upon the nature of their blades. The one that I have designed is a straight radial. If you want to learn further about these fans, I am leaving a link in the description. Please check that out. Now time to 3D print this model. I wanted to use brushless DC motor to make this air blower. But the problem is that due to lockdown, I cannot go outside. So I have this motor with gearbox available at my home. What I will do is I will remove the gearbox and use this motor as a separate because we want high RPM for this. So this air blower is working perfectly. Now we need to perform an experiment where we will use it as a CPAP machine. So what is CPAP? CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Air Pressure. This pressure is applied to the airways of patients to keep them continuously open so that they can breathe easily. These type of machines can be extremely useful for coronavirus patients where the breathing problems are not too severe. The experiment setup is very similar to that of manometer. Here I have connected air blower and breathing tube with the help of a nozzle attachment which I have separately 3D printed. Breathing tube is then oriented in U shape and water is added into it. Now for these type of respiratory applications, pressure is measured in centimeters of water. Pressure range for a normal CPAP machine is from 6 to 14 centimeters of water. Here you can see water reaching up to 4 cm and the pressure is double of that. This is in the pressure range of CPAP and can further be increased by using a high RPM motor. Talking about future upgrades and further applications, we can use a simple motor driver such as L298 and a microcontroller such as Arduino Nano to control the speed of this motor. This way we can have various levels of positive air pressure, which is how BiPAP machine works. Moreover, we can also convert this into a positive air pressure respirator. This is the influx of air and we can attach an air filter such as this mask on the top of it so that the air which is going into this blower gets purified. I hope you learned a lot from this experiment. Now please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Allah Hafiz.